Like, fire, like if I grew my hair out now, he'd be like, oh, my God, dude, you're bald as fuck. Like, uh, for three years, I've been shaving my head. You and I had the exact same hair loss when yeah, I met you. Because we both yeah. uh, you both used the sprinkle stuff. And the um, the uh, Propecia and the, um, what's the other stuff? Oh, I found the stuff that you get online that was this, um, this uh, pump that was, it was like azelaic acid and Retin-A and Minoxidil. And this company had the shit. This was the shit. Yeah. This stuff kept your hair. But for whatever reason, it wasn't approved by the FDA. And so the oh. FDA came along and they shut them down. But, like, I knew a bunch of dudes that were taking this stuff. It had retin-A in it. It would make your hair red, like your scalp red if you, you sprayed too much of it in. But the effect was pretty dramatic. Like, it really kept all of your hair. And when that stuff went away, I took a hit. When I got off the Propecia, <laughs> when I got off the Propecia, I took, I took a big hit. Like you could see, like if you watch like episodes of uh, the UFC, you could see like where you start seeing hair like light through my hair. Yeah. It's like it's going, baby. And then finally, I had to let it go. But I should have let it go a long time ago. I love having a shaved head. It's I wish I wish so I could get free. there. You could do it right now. I'm still holding on, Joe. I'll fucking help you. I've been holding on his hair just with Rogaine my entire since I was 22. I said this weekend. Tell me if you uh, agree with this. And I, it's a little bit of a stretch of a thought. Men who lose their hair at a young age, that you start losing your hair, that is the first recogn- the first signpost for mortality in a person. Like you witness your mortality at a young age when you realize, fuck, I'm actually losing my hair. You're it like, didn't seem mortality to me. It some, seemed more like like you couldn't control something. Like it's like going away from you, and it's something yeah. that makes you look better. It was really confusing. For a lot of men, it's very confusing. You it know? freaked me out bad. Uh, we just shave your head though. That's the beautiful thing about it Like the solution of shaving your head is always there and once you do it you go. Oh, yeah Why am I what am I clinging to fucking hair for I may shave it and then stay on Rogaine though. I wish I shaved it when I was in my 20s instead of going through hair transplants all that stupid shit I should have just shaved it. No, if they said I would no definitely do that again If I if I went back I would de- definitely do that differently No, if they said that there was a pill that could grow a full a full 18 year old head of hair for you I don't want any more hair. I'm good yeah, like right now, like, who the fuck knows what else that pill's going to do to you? Yeah. Like, if I just shaved my head, I'm very happy with it. Like, I could be born in Ethiopia. You know, I could have been an Eskimo. Not that there's anything wrong with Eskimos. <laughs> All due respect. I, I, don't even think, I don't even think you're supposed to say Eskimo. <laughs> I, I think you're supposed to say Eskimo. I could have been born in Ethiopia. I could have been shit out in an igloo. Some guy, gigantic Eskimo. walrus vagina. I could have red hair. Fur. No offense, Bill Burr. <laughs> Yeah, no offense, Bill Burr. I could have had red hair. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that could have been way like you gotta deal with the hand you've been given. You ain't gonna change it, and take that hand and fucking run with it, man. And sometimes the hand looks just devastating. Sometimes you got two fucking twos, and you're like, yeah. this is it. You gotta, I got a two and a three. Fuck, yeah. this is nothing. This hand's dog shit. And then you're going down the street to the guy who's a soap opera Fabio-looking motherfucker with the long hair. Like, this guy's got all the fucking cards. <laughs> this cunt. He's it's got a 52-deck card. I got two cards. It's amazing how you see that in people sometimes. You go, God, that guy's got fucking everything. And then you realize they got fucking nothing. Well, it's not true, though. You know, it's like the thing about human beings is like, what, what, what are you? You're not just how you look. The problem is with a lot of people, you gauge how you look based on how sexually desirable you are. Yeah. That's that's the real issue with people. You that's, see it with a lot of people as they get older, they start freaking out. And there's fucking photos of Mickey Rourke now. Mickey Rourke oh. was at the UFC this weekend. It's like somebody talked to that guy. He's he's got fake hair and fake lips, and his face is something's going on with his face. And it's like, God, give him a hug. You know, he's fucking Mickey Rourke. Does he know he's Mickey Rourke? Is there anything about you that you don't like that you'd like to change? No, but for what, man? You deal with all the perspective. Deal with the perspective of who you are in comparison to who you could have been. You could be born in Ethiopia with no feet. You well, my nose is too wide at the top. Yeah. Well, there's a part of my nose that gets kind of weird right here. If just smooth that out, it'll be good. You're not going to be good. You're going to start tweaking out about other things. There's people that get their shins broken and separated slowly with these devices that make them inches taller. 
in China, it's a big deal. There's a lot of guys in China that they feel like they can't get a woman because they're below five feet tall. And so they're slowly but surely stretching the fucking bones of their legs out. Oh, my God. They have these bolts that are attached to their bone, and they crank it, and they slowly separate. They saw it, and they slowly separate it. So it grows a little bit, and then they separate it more, and it grows a little bit, and they separate it more. And the bone keeps filling in. That's fucking madness. The mechanics of your body are all out of whack because you got a seven-foot-long shin bone. Like, the whole thing is madness. <laughs> People are crazy. I think health and well-being is good. Maintaining vitality is good. But you got to also have perspective. Perspective is big. And sometimes people, they just get mad because they don't look like Lorenzo Lamas in his prime. They get mad because they're born, I don't, you know, yep. fill in the blank. I, I wish I was Filipino and I'm Thai. I wish I was black and I'm Asian. I wish I was Asian and I'm fucking Portuguese. People have weird things in their head where they, they, they want to be something other than what they are. And right now that's unavailable. So yeah. you're, you're losing resources in your 90 whatever the fuck it is year ride on this globe. You have a 90 year ride.